Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Benderis comes in with a question regarding 1080p high refresh rate gaming. He asks if this setup is overkill for gaming and streaming high FPS at 1080p. So he wants to game and he wants to stream. So we've got a 3080 Ti, we've got a 5950X, 1200 watt power supply, Crosshair 8 Hero motherboard, 32 gigs of 3600 RAM, and a 360 mil liquid cooler. And he, we've got two terabytes uh, of M.2 for storage. I normally am not one to tell somebody that buying a nicer computer is overkill. Because if you buy a nicer computer, you future-proof yourself. You put off when the upgrade is necessary. You might have a little bit more than you need now, but it'll be amazing. And it will stay amazing for a longer period of time before it's like, ah, crap, I gotta go spend money on my computer again. Having said that, there is such a thing as too much future-proofing. A 16-core, 32-thread Ryzen 9 5950X and an RTX 3080 Ti on a Crosshair eight. 8 Hero yeah. motherboard is overkill for 1080p gaming. Well, he also wants high FPS, so... Uh, that is that is so overkill. I mean, is it for competitive gaming? Is he getting competitive gaming? Are you streaming? getting paid to play games? Yeah. I mean, if, if so, if then yes, sure. Then yeah, okay, then it. why are we having this conversation? You already know the answer, or should. Um, if you're just worried about your your leaderboard status in Call of Duty... Your win rate. <laughs> you know, your win rate with your buddies on the weekend... You used to have to pay a dollar... Way back when. For what? To to keep your high score. You could pay a dollar and there was a service that would keep your high score for you. They would keep track of all your high scores. And you could pay a dollar a game. I learned that in the history that I did. Why? That, that's, that's what you had to do back then. Can't you just take a picture of it? Well, this was like in 1975. This, is, this was way back when. Okay. Sorry, that, uh, my little random bit from all the history. That's fine. You need to get on those history news videos, by the I way. I do. I, well, you can do one of those next week. Oh, maybe. We'll see. This week was busy. We'll see what other jobs you've got for me to do. Regarding, regarding um, Bandiris' computer, I mean, sure, you can. That oh. is really, really overkill. A Ryzen 9 5900X would save you $250 on the CPU. A RTX 3070 is an awesome 1080p graphics card and more balanced. I mean, sure, 3080 Ti is nice, it's more performance, but in the, in the sort of esports games where you want 144 to 240 hertz if you've got a really high refresh rate monitor, you don't need a 3080 Ti. Rainbow Six Siege does not need a 3080 Ti to run at 300 frames per second at, at, at 1080p. It really does not. Uh, Overwatch doesn't. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare doesn't. You can, but that's just way overkill. <laughs> he asked if it was overkill, so to answer your question, yes, it's overkill. Honestly, for most people, if you want to play 1080p, now I, he said high frame rate gaming. Let's be clear about something. 144 hertz, is high, 144 hertz is high frame rate gaming to some people. Correct. There are 360 hertz 1080p monitors in existence now. There are. Not many. They're expensive, but they do exist. And to some people, Ammunition has one, for example. She does. But she's also a Siege Platinum player, so I mean, you know, and she, sponsored, so she didn't, she didn't even pay for the monitor. Correct. But putting that issue aside, um, there are people like that who would see 144 hertz as slow. Yes. I see 144 hertz as fast, but I'm not a competitive esports gamer. I play XCOM 2 and City Skylines and 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 MechWarrior. I mean, I, I don't even care. So I'm the wrong person to ask in that regard. But if he wants 360 hertz, then... But that is, that is a niche amongst a niche 
of gaming. That is such a corner case. It exists. If, 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 if he is a corner case, then it's probably not overkill. If he's not a corner case, then it probably is, but we don't have enough information. It's like the guy who buys the Dodge Hellcat because he likes the supercharged engine. Most people who buy Hellcats get the comfortable heated and cooled leather seats, and they get the stereo system, and they get all the features, and they get a sunroof, and they get all, all the stuff that adds weight. Yep. It makes the car slower. Mm -hmm. They might take it to the drag strip or to the track once or twice for fun to say they've done it, yeah. but that's it. Then there's the guy who buys a Hellcat and he goes to the track every weekend and he gets the Recaro Sport Speeds exactly. that have no heated and cooled, the sunroof delete, the, the in fact, you can actually get like- the, Taking the weight out of you it. You can get rear seat delete. Uh. There's no rear seats in some of those. But the person who does that is the corner, corner case. Most people do not do that. Exactly. So. To anybody watching this, yeah. if you're a 360 hertz ultra super extreme, you want to be platinum in Siege, and you are comparing leaderboard scores on the subreddit of wherever they do that, then there is no such thing as overkill. All the performance makes sense for that corner case. But when people ask me, I want to play at 1080p high frame rate because I want to play esports games, what I hear is I've got a 144 to 165 hertz monitor. I want to play for fun on the weekend, and I want to be reasonably competitive with other fun gamers, but I do this for fun, and I don't need to go into work on Monday and brag about my ladder ranking in esports. My achievements. Yeah. Well, it's like Mr. Yang says. He's like, he's doing 360 hertz on a 5800X with a 2070 Super at 1080p. So. And for a lot of games, that's enough. Exactly. And especially with the 2070 or 3070, you can turn the details down to get 300 frames per second. If you go to low detail in Siege, you do not need a 3080 Ti to do that. In fact, I can't think of any esports games that need a 3080 Ti to do 300 frames per second. They're, they're designed to run well on basic computers. A 3070 would crush those games. Correct. And you don't need 16 cores. Look, uh, how much am I all Mr. 12 and 16 core chip? But I acknowledge, for a dedicated serious gamer who isn't multitasking on multiple monitors, who isn't running multiple programs at once, yeah. a Ryzen 7 5800X is in fact the fastest gaming CPU you can buy because it has only a single CCX complex. Correct. There is zero infinity fabric delays going, because a Ryzen 9 5900X is a better general CPU. But for a competitive esports gamer, you, I actually can see why it would not be as good of a you CPU. You want to take out as many places for lag as you can. And, and that's one of them. And for those people, a 5800X is a better, but again, niche, niche corner case. Exactly. So it depends. It de it always depends. It does. And I guess the, the, the biggest thing out of this is know what your use case is. And that's the answer. And one other point. How much does it financially hurt you to buy all of that stuff? Well, because if you can been, afford it, because if do ben it. If you can't, don't. If you're the kind of person to whom can spend the many thousands of dollars that costs, it's going to be a few, and you won't notice it. It's going to be a few bitcoins. Sure, but if he goes, if he takes his family out to a fancy restaurant and spends three hundred dollars on a meal for his family in one night, and that doesn't hurt. Why are you even asking? Just exactly. do it. Just do it. And if it does, then... You know, are you the kind of person who can pay cash for his cars? Are you the kind of person who has money? If you are, then forget all of this. Just go get an amazing computer and enjoy it. It's one of the benefits of it. But if you're struggling to justify the cost, no. In terms of dollars, you know what probably one of the best esports gaming values is right now? What? An i7-10700. And a RTX 3060 for 1080p gaming. Gaming and streaming? Sure. If you get a 10700, like make sure this you, one. Make sure you get the 700 and not the F. Well, oh, this does have an F. That does have an oh. F. Because if you get the one, well, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, with streaming, the, the NVIDIA encoder's fine. But it depends what games he's playing. You don't know what games he's playing. Is he playing Cyberpunk and trying to stream it? Is he playing... Well, I no. Outrider? We're talking esports. Oh, esports. Espo oh, esports. Not talking about okay. e not talking about cyberpunk. We're talking okay. about esports. Esports. An i7 10700, F or non F, 
and an RTX 3060. The 3060 is not a great mining card, but it is a great gaming, gaming card. card. And for 1080p esports, that's all you need. There you go. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.